Hi. Carl Landsteiner discovered the blood group systems, uh, the first blood group system, ABO blood group system uh, in the year 1900. And ever since, almost uh, 40 different blood group systems have been discovered. ABO and RH are the clinically uh, most significant uh, of the blood group systems. But apart from that, uh, there are various other systems like uh, MNS, uh, Kell, Duffy, Lutheran, Lewis, etc. Each of them has a limited significance. Now, uh, there is one particular blood group which is of interest uh, so far as uh, the clinical uh, significance is concerned is the Bombay blood group. Now, this blood group system was uh, discovered in the Bombay population or Indian population or in fact Asian population and it was discovered uh, by a renowned uh, pathologist Dr. Bhende. What is this blood group system? To understand this, let us first understand on what basis the blood groups have been identified. Now basically chromosome number 9 has uh, two genes, the A and the B genes. And independently, there is, a, there is an independent gene and that's H gene. H gene in majority of the population, this H gene forms the H substance or H product. Now that is a certainty in majority of the population. In a person who has got uh, A gene dominant will form A product and then it will act through H product to form A antigen on uh, the red cell membrane and therefore the blood group of that individual would be A. Similarly, someone who has got B uh, gene dominant would form B gene product which will act through H product to form B antigen on the red cell membrane and therefore the blood group of that individual would be B. Uh, both A and B dominant would form both A and B antigens and neither of them uh, dominant or uh, A and B recessive genes would have no antigen and the blood group would be O. That's how normally uh, the ABO blood group system uh, classifies or categorizes the population into four blood groups. Now, what about the Bombay blood group? This rare variety which has been identified uh, in the Indian, Bombay uh, and uh, Asian population in fact, uh, has H gene itself recessive. Now, because of this H gene itself being recessive, whether the person, person has A gene dominant or B gene dominant would be immaterial because there would be no H product and if there is no H product, then either A or B gene dominant uh, would not be able to form A or B gene and uh, A or B antigens on the red cell membrane. Obviously, the blood group would be O. But this O is not because A and B genes were recessive, but it is because H gene is recessive. And therefore, this is O blood group and commonly written as O because of recessive H, so O small h. Now that uh, is the Bombay blood group. A very uh, 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 insignificant number uh, I would say uh, belongs to this blood group category. Not a very high number. But then what is the clinical significance of Bombay blood group? Uh, when I mean uh, that this is not a not seen in majority of the individuals. What would be the clinical significance then in terms of blood transfusion? 
well the bombay blood group person has three antibodies as you are aware o blood group individual because the person does not have any antigens on the red cell membrane and therefore in such a person's plasma there would be anti a and anti b antibodies even this person is o blood group it would uh, the person would have anti a and anti b antibodies additionally the person would also harbor anti h antibodies in the plasma so the person has three antibodies in the plasma now such a person can donate the blood to uh, the uh, uh, any other individual or uh, the individual belonging to any other blood group but can receive blood from another bombay blood group person only why because the person does not have any antigens on the red cell therefore the person can donate the blood it would not induce any antigen antibody reaction in the recipient but the person has three antibodies in the plasma uh, which could react with the antigen and therefore this person can receive blood safely from another bombay uh, blood group individual only that's uh, one significance of bombay blood group uh, apart from that what are the other ways of exposure to the antigen uh, from fetus to mother yes that's one more way now it has been observed that uh, a non bombay fetus if uh, has been conceived by a bombay blood group mother then is there a chance of uh, fetal maternal incompatibility of the blood group as seen uh, with the rh incompatibility resulting in hemolytic disease of the newborn well it has been observed that the chances of hemolytic disease of the newborn have been found to be less if a bombay blood group mother uh, conceives a child or fetus with a non bombay blood group why is that because the antibodies of uh, this particular bl blood group they are said to be either igm type or igg type and therefore chances of crossing over uh, crossing of the placenta and going from mother to fetus and causing uh, uh, damage to the red cell uh, is is said to be little lesser igg antibody normally crosses the placenta but here there are two uh, possibilities in in the case of antibodies against this uh, blood group a uh, substance of blood group antigen and therefore uh, that is said to be a lesser possibility of hemolytic disease of the newborn so that's a, another uh, clinical significance of the bombay blood group um, and that's that's in summary is the bombay blood group